Hey everyone, my name is Jimmy Fowler. I'm a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Grand Junction, and I'm going to be going over the monthly climate review for the month of May. Now this picture here shows a wildfire that broke out in Debec Canyon just east of Grand Junction. Now the very beginning of the month saw some winter weather across western Colorado. There was some snowfall in the central and southern Colorado mountains, but the most of the snow fell above 9,000 feet. Now this storm resulted in the closure of Vail Pass on May 3rd. We had some record high temperatures across western Colorado and eastern Utah through the month of May with some record high temperatures kind of towards the beginning of May from the May 7th through the 11th time frame and then again towards the end of May on the 25th and 26th. Now Grand Junction actually hit a record high temperature of 94 on May 26th that beat the old record of 93 set back in 1969. Now on the same day of May 26th, we had some high winds across the region. Here in Grand Junction, we had some damage of some down fences and some tree damage on this date. For the month of May precipitation, most sites saw below average precipitation, with the lowest site being in Rifle with 0.26 inches of precipitation, which is an inch and a quarter below average. Now the only site that saw above average precipitation was in Canyonlands with 0.91 inches of precipitation, which is 0.33 inches of precipitation above normal. Temperature-wise, the warmest temperature was in Grand Junction on May 26th, the record high temperature day of 94 degrees, and the coldest temperature was the low in Aspen on May 1st of 29 degrees. Now, the state of the snowpack across Colorado and Utah remains abysmal. The uh, st uh, in Colorado, the snowpack is around 10% of normal, and in Utah, about 18% of normal. Now, this kind of contributes to the state of the drought across the region, with extreme to severe drought over much of the region, with exceptional drought in the Four Corners region. Now, for the month of June, it is predicted that the drought will persist and even extend into northeastern Colorado. The Climate Prediction Center is predicting a 60 to 70 percent chance of above average temperatures across the region and a 30 to 40 percent chance of below average precipitation across northern Colorado and northern Utah. Now that wraps up the monthly climate review for May. If you would like to contribute some pictures to be featured in the June summary, definitely send us them through either Facebook, Twitter, or email us. Thank you.